Not the heat flames up and consumes. Not the sea waves hurry in and out. Not the air, delicious and dry. The air of the ripe summer. Bears lightly along white down balls of myriads of seeds. Wafted sailing gracefully to drop where they may. Not these, oh, none of these, more than the flames of me consuming, burning for his love whom I love. Oh, none, more than I hurrying in and out. Does the tide hurry, seeking something and never give up? Oh, I, the same, to seek my lifelong lover. Oh, nor down balls, nor perfumes, nor the high rain-emitting clouds are born through the open air, more than my copious soul is born through the open air, wafted in all directions, for friendship, for love. You bards of ages hence, when you refer to me, my not so much my poems, nor speak to me that I prophesize of the states and love them away of their glories. But come, I will inform you of who I was underneath that impassive exterior. I will tell you what to save me. Publish my name and hang up my picture as that of the tenderest lover, the friend, the lover's portrait of whom his friend, his lover, was fondest. He was not proud of his songs, but of the measureless ocean of love within him, and freely poured it forth. Who often walked lonesome walks, thinking of his dearest friends, his lovers, who, pensive, away from the one he loved, often lay sleepless and dissatisfied at night, who, dreading less the one he loved, might it all be indifferent to him, felt the sick feeling. Oh, sick, sick, whose happiest days were those far away through fields and woods on hills, he and another wandering hand in hand. They twain, apart from other men, whoever, as he sauntered the streets, curved with his arm the manly shoulder of his friend, while the curving arm of his friend rested upon him also. Hours continuing long, sore, and heavy-hearted. Hours of the dusk, when I withdraw to a lonesome and unfrequented spot, seating myself, leaning my face in my hands. Hours sleepless, deep in the night, when I go forth, speeding swiftly the country roads or through the city streets, or pacing miles and miles, stifling plaintive cries. Hours discouraged, distracted. For he, the one I cannot content myself without, soon I saw him content himself without me. Hours when I am forgotten, oh, weeks and months are passing, but I believe I am never to forget. Sullen and suffering hours, I am ashamed, but it is useless, I am what I am. Hours of my torment. I wonder if other men have ever had the likes of these feelings. Is there even one other like me? distracted his friend his lover lost to him is he too as i am now does he still rise in the morning dejected thinking who is lost to him and at night awaking think who is lost does he too harbor his friendship silent and endless harbor his anguish and passion does some stray reminder or the casual mention of a name bring the fit back upon him taciturn and depressed does he see himself reflected in me In these hours, does he see the face of hours reflected? Earth, though you look so impassive, ample, and spheric there, I now suspect that is not at all. I now suspect there is something terrible in you, ready to break forth. For an athlete loves me, and I him. But toward him there is something fierce and terrible in me. I dare not tell it in words. Not even in these songs.